Hello my friends. It's a rainy day here at Universal and I wasn't sure how quite to make use, best use of the weather. But right behind me here is the Jurassic World Tribute Store, which I feel like they've been changing their Tribute Store every three to four months so not a lot of people get to see it. So I figured maybe I'd document the one Tribute Store I got to see and share it all with you. So I invite you to come along. Let's go check this out. I only just walked in and this InGen sign here and just like the whole look and feel of it is amazing. They have some signs here, Echo, Charlie, and Delta, and then this will continue going on to the control room. Oh, here's the other one, Blue. I had a chew robe named after this guy. So it looks like the Magic Candle Company made a bunch of custom scents for this event here. I wonder if it's going to focus on that one. I'm not sure, but there's Triceratops Trail, the East Dock, and Pack Hunt. Ooh, that one sounds serious. Oh, what day wouldn't be complete without a Tyrannosaurus Rex bubble wand or backpack? <laughs> what do we got here? The different energy levels. Oh. Velociraptor enclosure, monitoring, and sensors, and all that. <laughs> this is wild. So much detail. Somebody had to sit down and make fake programming for this, or this, and then animate it. Here's some cool little thing I saw. It's a mold maker. You get your very own little Tyrannosaurus Rex for $6. That's cool, and I don't know if that guy looks familiar to anybody, but that mold is from another attraction. I'll give you time to figure out which one. And there it is. Hopefully it stays in focus there, but here he comes. Ooh, he's warm. Yeah, there he is. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm gonna wait a little bit so you guys can think about where you've seen this character before. Just wanted to give you guys a better shot of him with some light here. So you can see the actual pose he's in. So that's the room we just came from, and then we have this massive, like, it looks like the electric fence from the first one, but maybe it's supposed to be the raptor enclosure because there'd be raptors here and over there. And right there. So there's three. Shouldn't there be a fourth one somewhere? Mmm, I don't see a fourth one anywhere. But the merch displays are pretty nice. I do like one particular type of merch they did. <laughs> oh, geez. That's not it. It's, uh, this, like, tropical. <laughs> All right, we're going to another room, the visitor center. Nothing this way. Velociraptor Paddock 1, that's where we came from. Okay. So now, ooh, this is a cool looking hallway. <laughs> it's a nice touch. Oh, um, there's some ominous music here. Control room. That's where we came from, isn't it? Ooh, the laboratory. That's where we want to go. Or laboratory, whatever you want to say. So it looks like this might be that uh, egg grabbing thing, but it says it has screen used velociraptor eggs here. What do you think those are made out of? I think they're just like some sort of simple mold that somebody made. And then uh, that's it. They just decorated it a little bit, gave it the texture it needed to. But it's pretty cool that they're here. How awesome. And let me just back up a second because they have the entire like unit here that's a di like contained and display it now oh, here's one cool thing that i appreciate is that we have some mr dna merchandise now and then they do have a mr dna cup which maybe you guys can't see that well there we go maybe you can see it a little better now and then they have this Mr. DNA shirt. <laughs> now inside this cabinet, I think I saw some stuff. Screen used Barbasol cryo can from Jurassic Park. Yes, that's what, um, what was his name? I forgot it already, but that's what they were trying to sneak off the island. The big dude that got trapped in that Jeep. The fedora that Alan Grant wore. Oh, Jurassic Park 3. Mm, 
Are these fake pamphlets? <laughs> That's awesome. And the books by Dr. Alan Grant and John Horner, Digging Dinosaurs and Dinosaur Detectives. That was the fake book from the movie, eh? What else we got here? Oh, the walking stick. The amber cane. Does it have like a... Oh yeah. Oh, it stays focused on that, but there is a mosquito in there. So we're supposed to be in some sort of overgrown area here. There's the embryo cold storage. Igneous rocks, ooh. This is a lot of crazy detailing. Like, look at that back there. All that aging and distress. And this is supposed to be the embryo cold storage. So is it overgrown now? I'm like, I don't know what the story is behind the tribute store or within the tribute store. Let's see what else we have. Screen match shock prod from the Lost World. Let's see, Eddie Carr documentation from the Lost World. Oh, dirty. She. Let's see, anything else here? I'm not sure what I'm looking at there, but it looks like legal documents. Oh. Um, an in-gen gas grenade. Just what I always wanted to see. Thought they had something else in here. I don't know, but that, that little kit right there, the suitcase thing, is awesome. All right, here's the next mold matic that we're going to be getting. I love this Mr. DNA. So they need way more DNA, Mr. DNA merch than they have. All right, so we're going to get this guy. warm all right let's find a good spot to get a shot of him how cool is that and I believe this is one of the molds that was used over at the World's Fair 1964 uh, after you would do uh, one of the rides there they would have these moldomatics available that were based on a scene that was within the ride the next section appears to be the gentle giant section oh wow is this an animatronic or what are you buddy oh man this looks amazing i think he's just stationary what's this say please respect all jurassic park jurassic creatures do not taunt tease or harass uh, i don't think you can feed this guy though it's kind of cool how they have all this stuff here that indicates like food and like how to make their mixes for the different animals oh this is cool so those are like medical records incidences of illness for the different dinosaurs they call them assets there it's the asset checklist identification breed age so they have oh microchip number wow they really had to go all out for this stuff oh they have one that's over here and it's closer let's see asset identification what's the difference between that and the microchip Stegosaurus, five. I can't tell. This person has terrible handwriting. I think that's a one five, but who knows? <laughs> Notes, N-A, N-A. That's a terrible way to write N-A, I gotta say. But it looks like these don't actually work, unfortunately. I tried. <laughs> I was gonna see what happened. So from a section here, it appears that they have a bunch of different spots with treats and stuff in there. They have the treat outpost where you can buy like all types of dinosaur themed desserts. The fossilized amber, I forget what that's what that was. I think that's like a jelly dessert. And then the egg nursery is like chocolate eggs with dinosaurs in them. But this little area is actually quite cool. There's just so much going on here. I definitely wanted to share this uh, little thing of the fossilized amber. It's actually like a gelatin with the, I think that's a, is that a temporary tattoo or like a chocolate printed thing that's in the middle? I'm not quite sure. I'll zoom in and you guys tell me what you think is in there. Looks like they have a bunch of specialty fudges, which is fun. They're digging a jar, which is just above here. Looks like a mud pie type of thing. There's a pistachio puff over there. Then in the far corner, they got some marshmallow pops, a candied apple, and these are themed after Velocicoaster, a vegan brownie bar and a Velocicoaster small. 
jumbo Oreo cookie? Oh man. I don't know about you guys, but you know chocolate is my jam, so I think we're gonna get some of these. So these here are the chocolate eggs that they have, and I am shocked that these are $18 each. But then I look over here and I see how much is in them, like additional chocolates. There's, I wonder if it's just one per though, rather than all of those, because they have three in there. No, those wouldn't all fit. I think it's just one dino per egg, sadly. So I ended up buying myself the uh, this little cake in a jar type thing. It looks great. I am super excited for that. And I was actually buy one, get one. So I currently have an another one in my bag. Let's see. This is this appears to be it, guys. Registers, plushes, and and drinks, and then we're out. So let me go pay for these, and I will be back in a second. They should also, by the way, Universal. You should really sell this poster, okay? But no, really, all of these posters are amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Um, oh wow. So this is what's his name, John Hammond. They have just a bronze statue of him chilling here. Oh, right. It was actually in the movie. Wow. All right, well, that's a photo op if I've ever seen one. My goodness. But that's it. Then we exit. Got my little cake in a jar that was buy one, get one, so I have one to enjoy for later. But wow, I can't believe of how much detail was in that store. And the crazy thing is maybe in a month or two, I think it'll last all summer and maybe change into like the HHN tribute store, but still, these things are only lasting like a couple weeks, a couple months, and then they're completely changing them over and it is amazing. So anyway, guys, I think that's gonna do it for me here at the Jurassic World tribute store because I see that there's rain falling onto my lens. So we're gonna call this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye.